Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be planting two types of lilies into these beautiful pots. The first variety that I'm going to be planting today is a variety called Casablanca. Now this lily gets to about a metre tall, it's very very beautiful, it's a gorgeous white with dark stamens. Casablanca is an oriental lily. It likes to have its head up there in the sunshine but its roots quite sheltered and protected. This lily likes well drained soil but it doesn't like to dry out so it's quite a a tough combination to keep going there. It likes well-drained soil but it doesn't like to dry out and for this purpose today we're using these lovely terracotta pots. They're nice and deep because the lilies are going to be planted to say about this level here. Now the mix that we're going to use today is a general multi-purpose compost and with it we've mixed in lots of grit as well. Paul's already mixed this in for me. So it's a lovely consistency. It's a really really nice consistency. Lots of grit in there as well as mixed along with the compost as well and it's a good compost this one. It's a really nice one. So that is going to go into these pots and these are really nice ones. The lilies are going to need the depth obviously but I think they, they'll look stunning in here as well once they begin to grow. Now what I'm going to do first of all is in fact I'll stay sat down. I just think these are going to look lovely and we've got a special place for them at the front of the house so they're going to be superb. Don't forget these types of lily as well. They're scented heavily scented so when people come into the front garden and come near to the house they're going to be greeted with some beautiful scent midsummer um, to late summer this is a really exciting moment the bit when you get to rip open the packet and take out its contents i'm going to put this one or the lilies to the other side there this is the pot that we're going to be using for casablanca and I just love the name Casablanca, you can't beat that can you? That's a classic, it's a true classic that one. So what I'm going to do is open this up and as we can see we've got two beautiful bulbs there. Two beautiful bulbs and we've got lots of growth appearing already, look at that. That is so beautiful. This is lovely. This is the best bit. And I'll just put that one down. We can see, I know that a lot of you will know this, okay? If you're gardeners already, you will know this, but anybody new to gardening would not know this. That when they're placed in the pot, the best thing to do is to make sure they're the roots of the bulb there, look. So they will go. It's a bit like a tree in a garden. The roots go into the ground and the growth goes to the surface and it's the same when you come to planting. So I'm going to plant these two bulbs but I'm really excited about these. I love the beautiful white with those dark stamens. Ooh, irresistible and the scent is going to be amazing. Now I have to say something, my auntie Pat and her daughter, my cousin Julie, used to grow these in their gardens and they, they absolutely adored lilies and they're both sadly no longer with us um, but I know that they'll be looking forward to these at the front of the house they'll probably come and sneakily visit us and yeah, have a look at our, our lilies see how they're getting on anyway I'm going to place these in to the pots or pot as I should say so I'm just placing notice roots downward with the growth facing upwards these bulbs have been planted to the depth of 15 centimeters now as we get gain more growth on each bulb from the growth new roots will spread and this will help stabilize the plant and also allow it to take up lots more nutrients and water now what i can do is Now add 
this beautiful compost to the container. Look at that, that looks amazing. If I was a bulb, I would love to be in this compost. Now, as you know as well, or most of you will know, when you're filling pots, best not to have it overflowing as well because we do not want to go too close to the surface for the simple reason, when it rains, the rain will just run off with soil going all over the place. We do not want that. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. And we'll lose, probably lose some soil from the base anyway, as it rains and it gets watered. But I'd say that that's it. I'm very happy with that. So that's Casablanca done. What I'm going to do is pop this just into the corner there. And later on, it will be well watered. Not only that, I'll add two labels as well. So I'm going to keep Casablanca there. And our next lily, I'm going to keep towards the front so I know the difference between the two. Now, this lily is an hybrid. It's a cross between an oriental lily and a triumph lily. And it's called Beverly Dreams. What a nice name, it's quite a sweet name. This is a very fragrant lily. It's, it has white edges with a maroon center. Very, very beautiful. And the stamens look lovely on that as well. I can't wait for that one. Ooh, all that scent. You know I love scent in the garden. There's gonna be lots when it comes to this. Can't wait. Lilies are just truly amazing. But we've not really, we have grown them years and years ago in Sheffield, but we've not really grown them since, to be honest with you. And that's so sad. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a great summer this year with scent of lilies all around the front of the house. Now, let's open the pack here. So Beverly Dreams. Again, these lilies like full sun, part shade. And they do like as well a high potassium feed. So best keep them fed as well because they're going to need it for the flowering. Keep them well fed with a high potassium feed. Now let's have a look. Now there's no growth on this one yet, but there is growth on the first one there. Lots of root as well. And the same thing applies. I'm going to pop those into the pots. Add in soil, or compost I should say. I use the scoop because it makes it so much easier. And that's the name of the game. Rather than picking up handfuls of compost and getting it all over the summer house floor, which is never a good thing. So look at that, that's brilliant. We're getting somewhere with this. Really enjoyed doing this today because I know that these are going to provide us with some amazing lilies, two fantastic varieties. And again, I'm just looking forward to the scent, not just the vibrance as well. I like vibrancy in a garden. I like a lot of color. I know we've, we've chosen a white one, but so many of, of the lilies that you can buy, they do have a lot of color. And I love that. Absolutely love it. And I love the scent as well. You know what I'm like for scent in the garden. I absolutely love it. You can't beat it. And there you go. So that's the other one done. So that is our Beverly Dreams. And then we have Casablanca there at the front. These will be labelled now. They will be taken out onto the lawn, given a really, really good water and then placed out, ready to grow away. These are hardy. They're not gonna need any protection now. And that's the beauty of it. We've got them in, we've got them prepared. Now let the bulbs do their magic. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, drop them in the comments box below. Also, please click the thumbs up. If you see that like button, press it now. Thank you again for watching and we will definitely see you on the next one. Also as well, if you have not already subscribed, please do so. It will be very much appreciated and then you can get to see our videos when they pop up. Also, it's free to subscribe. If you've not already seen our shop as well, please feel free to browse. Thank you so much for watching 
and I will definitely see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.